Oh yeah! Have you been training to strengthen your core? It's a good idea if you want to shorten your run time. You're less likely to injure yourself too. I was talking with Kaz about putting it in the first year's practice routine, actually. Do you mind if we continue talking in the cafe? I'm a little hungry. Ow! You again. Oh, man. You know, it's dangerous to be running around a place like this. You're lucky it's just me. But what if you bumped into a scary man, huh? If you want to play, do it at your schoolyard. But we can't play there. The sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer. They said they'll move if we can beat them in a race, but we're only fourth graders. There's no way we could win. That's why we had to play tag here instead, Auntie Yuko. I'll let the auntie slide this time, but only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. This field is so big! Wow, high school is amazing. They said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed in here. Understand? So don't touch anything you're not supposed to, and if something happens, let us know immediately. Can you promise that? We promise. Good. Then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12. And don't go inside the school building. All right, let's do this. Wait, come here for a second. You need to pump your arms more. And don't lift your legs so high, or you might pull a muscle. Come on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. Woohoo! Check this out. Wow! Kenshon, you're so fast! Hey, big sis! You should be our coach! Oh, I'm a real sucker when kids look at me that way. But I've never tried coaching before. What do you think I should do? Really think I should? Fine, please. Please. Hmm. Well, it isn't a decision to make lightly. All right, I'll be your coach. I'm not going to go easy on you guys. And no one's allowed to quit halfway either. Got it? Got it, Coach Hugo. Hey, is he going to teach us too? Is he your boyfriend, Coach? Never you mind about that. Now everyone, line up. I said I wouldn't go easy on you, didn't I? Think positive. If you think you're going to lose, you will. Don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders. That sounds hard, but okay. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um, I was wondering, would you maybe want to do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking a lot, but I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic too. So if you'd coach them with me, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Please? Honestly, I don't think I can handle it on my own. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sure those kids will be happy too. Thanks. I know that I keep asking you for favors, but I'll make it up to you one day.
this is what it's like growing plants. Yeah. Oh, should we be measuring the pH of the soil or monitoring how much sunlight they're getting? Yeah. Oh, um, yes. I looked up a bunch of stuff online. I thought it might be helpful. I do like flowers and stuff, but I've never really worked with them outside of arrangements. I've always wanted to try putting in the work to grow some, though. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to go on about myself like that. Shall we keep working for a bit more? I'll go get some water. This looks good. Do you think you could invite me when you tend the plants again? I'll do more research so I'm in a better position to help out next time, too. Attention, please. So that's why... Don't call me that. <laughs> Come on, lighten up. Here, I brought you a new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. I don't remember asking you to do that, Junpei. <laughs> you finally called me by my name. I wasn't sure if you'd ever say it again. She finally started talking, but she hasn't said anything useful so far. Well, it's a start. More of a response than we got from her. So, why are you here? <coughs> Shidori? What's wrong? There's something right there! An enemy? Wrong! Move! <sighs> Shidori! Relax. Her persona just went berserk. It happens. It... happens? Weren't you guys watching? You could see her persona strangling her for a second. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants. To keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? Wait. Do you know something about Strega? Some things you only pick up stepping off the straight and narrow. I'll give the duck the meds I have. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait! Hey! I... Junpei? Oh, thank God. I thought you were gonna die. What do you mean? Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you talking about? Dying just means you won't wake up tomorrow. That's all. What the hell are you saying? You don't really mean that, do you? Junpei? I don't want that! You hear me, Chidori? I don't want you to die. Junpei. 
doesn't matter if you're not afraid. That's not the point. I don't want to have to live in a world without you. <laughs> you're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, wait! Shinji! <sighs> what the hell's going on? Why did you have those suppressants? <sighs> I've heard about what they do. They're taken to rein in a persona when the user can't control it. But the side effects... <sighs> You're not taking them, are you? Answer me! I don't have to tell you shit. Why are you always like this? Save it. I've heard it all before. You think I'm wasting my power. You can't stand the sight of someone so half-assed, right? I'm sick of your damn preaching. You don't understand at all. You should already know. Ten years ago, when the orphanage burned down, I couldn't save my sister. Back then, I wasn't strong enough to get past the adults holding me back to even try. <sighs> That's why I try so hard. I thought you felt the same way. We promised each other. To become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why? Why'd you start taking those drugs without telling me? I'm back in the fight now. I have no reason to suppress my persona anymore. So just let it go. Damn it. <laughs> and the side effects. Hmm. There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. I gotta take responsibility. What do you mean? Listen. Quit worrying about me. Just do what you think is right. Got that? Shinji. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Here are my requests. Perhaps there may come a day when you complete the Persona Compendium. Say so. I will await a report of success. Oh, yes. I will await a report of success. By all means. Very well, then.
everyone. Attention, please. It seems the painting Haraga-kun submitted to the contest really caught the eyes of the judges. And while it's highly unusual, they're going to reserve an award spot just for you, Hiraga-kun. Huh? I don't think I understand. What does that mean? It means you're guaranteed an award. At best, you'll receive first place. At worst, an honorable mention. The judges were impressed with your shading techniques and said you crafted a masterwork of realism. Congratulations, Hiraga-kun! Hey, way to go! This is the art club's first real achievement! Wait, then... that means... Yeah, yeah that's right! He promised me! He said I could do whatever I want if I want. So this means I don't have to listen to him anymore, right? We should all do something special to celebrate. Yeah, that would be fun. Thanks, everybody. Especially you. I'm sorry if I made you worry. Let's go. You're celebrating with us, right? I don't mean to interrupt the fun, but Hiraka-kun, I'd like to fill you in on a few details. But don't worry, it shouldn't take long. The rest of you can wait outside the faculty office if you'd like. Well, Hiraga-kun, one of the judges saw a lot of potential in you as an artist and had an offer for you. If you're interested, they'd be willing to help arrange for you to study abroad. <laughs> How does that sound? How do you abroad? Me? As an artist? Wow! As an overseas? Hiraga-senpai is amazing! Hey, are you guys from the art club? Have you seen Hiraga? Um, he's in the faculty office now for... Hiraga! I've been looking everywhere for you! Mikari just fainted! Come quick! Huh? Oh, okay, got it. I'll be right there. I'm very sorry, but I'll need some time to think about this. He says he doesn't want to be a doctor. But he just can't ignore people in need. That's how he is. A doctor's son with such an eye for art. I never thought I'd be so jealous of a student. I don't think anyone's in the mood to celebrate now. I'll let everyone know what happened. You can head off now if you'd like. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Oh, it's you. Like is. 
Yeah. What? Yeah? Accepting a let's hear the how splendid. Very well, then. Of course, I will await a report of success. Very well, then. My wonderful. Oh my. You have my thanks. Very well. that we don't have as much crap to deal with up here. There aren't as many weeds or pests on the roof. And no moles or other critters that'll dig our plants up. Still gotta watch out, though. Some hungry asshole might try to help himself to the whole crop. Didn't know you were so hot-blooded. Most of us here are decent and mature enough that we'd ask before doing something like that. With one exception. I mentioned I did a bit of gardening back at the orphanage, right? If someone sneaks a bite, it's no big deal. But this one time, some older kids stole our whole crop. Aki got so pissed when that happened. He went after him all by himself. Even though they were twice as tall as he was. <laughs> then again, that's probably not much different from how he is now. He hasn't changed at all. Compare that to these guys, growing bigger every day. This should be good for today. You can head on back. I'll stay and finish up. You can thank me by helping out again sometime. Morning. Yeah. 